Hey guys, it's Lisa, or wait, otherwise known as Hat Girl. Yes, I have my hat on today. But anyway, I am at Disneyland and I have a couple things that I want to do. The first is I want to try some summer seasonal food. There is some like seasonal food that I still haven't gotten around to yet, so we're going to do that. But then the second thing, I want to look at merchandise. Specifically, there's a pair of ears where I can't tell, like, are they cute? Are they not? I don't know. So we're going to find out. But anyway, come along with me, let's hang out, and let's go inside of Disneyland. Today is another very warm day, by the way. I mean, it's summer, you have to expect it. Uh, it doesn't mean that I like it though. And in my last video, I asked like, what's a more eloquent way, you know, like a euphemism for sweaty? And I think the consensus was glisten. There was also dewy, what else? Sparkle, no, sparkle wasn't that. That was not one of the things anybody said, but I thought it because twilight? Yes, no, something that I, I don't know if I should say this. I, I'll say it. In the past year, I rewatched all of the Twilight movies, okay? Why? I don't know. It was an odd curiosity. I was like, I must remember what it was like. And they were bad, but gloriously bad. Anyway, let's, let's head inside. <laughs> actually, no, let's not head inside. Let's actually go to downtown Disney. The reason why is because I've been wanting this churro, this like super gimmicky churro, but I love a good gimmick, so I don't mind. But yes, let's let's start our day off with a churro. Unfortunately, it wouldn't be a breakfast churro. We're kind of past that point, but I would like to imagine it as a breakfast churro. For a limited time only, over here at California Churro Company, which is one of the churro carts. So there's two of these. There's one over by World of Disney, and there's another one on the other side, closer to Star Wars Trading Post and the Lego store. But anyway, they have these churro lollipops. They have three different flavors, and I don't know which one. I think Fruity Pebble. I feel like that I am the most drawn to, although Oreo honestly looks so good. But yes, this is the gimmicky churro that I'm like dying to try. <laughs> I couldn't help it and I got both, okay? The, I got two of them and I luckily, I, you know, reeled myself in. I didn't get all three, but yes, I did get two. So let me show you my un-breakfast churro. I say that like, you know, like un-birthday. It's my un-breakfast churro. And here it is. It is such a gimmick, okay? It is the biggest gimmick ever and I am falling for it happily. You know, I just like gimmicky things, like limited edition stuff, gimmicky stuff. I'm like, sign me up. So anyway, this is it. So this one is the Fruity Pebble one. It has sugar condensed milk and Fruity Pebble topping. And it looks very good, but I've already lost a lot of the, of the coating because, you know, I've been trying to hold it up. But anyway, let's bite into this. Hmm, okay, the bite that I had, the chur was maybe in the little warmer, you know, for a little bit too long. It felt a little bit hard, a little bit dry perhaps, but the Fruity Pebble was pretty good, the Fruity Pebble flavor. I just kind of wish there was more. Like, how do you get more Fruity Pepper? Oh no, you can't, okay. It's like a, like a skewer, you know? It's like one of the Bengal barbecue skewers. Anyway, okay, I wish there was more flavor in this. It's fine, but I don't think I would waste my money on it again. And yes, it's a gimmick, I fell for it. I was had, but not really because I enjoy these things, so like, not that badly. <laughs> I have high hopes for the second one now just because, you know, that first one was kind of a letdown. Maybe the Oreo will make up for it. So this is the Oreo one. It has sugar, white chocolate, and Oreo crumbs topping. And this looks pretty coated. Also, it looks a lot more sturdy than the other one. Hopefully that doesn't mean that it's like, you know, dry and hard, instead of fluffy and wonderful like a churro is supposed to be. But anyway, let's try this. I'm gonna get a bite with all the Oreo like over here. Okay, that one is way better. Not like way, way better. Not like I would buy it again better, but it was better. And it was just basically because like you could really taste the Oreos. Like it was actually a good amount of flavor for it. And then the churro itself was way fluffier. So I think I got a bad one with that Fruity Pebble one. It was probably just hanging out in that, you know, churro warmer with all his churro friends for a little bit too long. But this one is nice and fluffy. And then the, you know, the chocolate coating, pretty good. Maybe it needs more icing. That would be kind of fun. Ooh, what if they made a make your own churro kit where they give you everything and then you like dip it in? No, that wouldn't really work. Anyway, okay, I would get this one. The other one was like a maple bacon one and I was like, oh, I don't think so. So out of these, this is the winner. But are any of them really the winner? No. Uh, these get a very, very strong eh from me. And it's kind of sad because they were supposed to be the unbreakfast churro, you know? 
a very merry unbreakfast churro to me. Not really, not at all, but that's okay. I feel kind of like, you know in Star Wars when Obi-Wan says, you are the chosen one. You guys, you were the chosen ones. Come on. But anyway, yeah, I would recommend not getting these, but at least I tried them. So now you know to not get them and not to fall for the gimmick. <laughs> Also, this is like a, a very much so an aside, but I'm sitting in the smallest like shortest chair ever and this table feels like it is so massively tall. Uh, yeah, that wasn't important, but I just felt like I needed to say it. Can you hear the song? It's Happily Ever After from Walt Disney World, that fireworks show. I love that fireworks show, like love it so much and I just get excited that we get to hear it here at Disneyland. It's so good. Anyway, okay, let's forget about those unbreakfast churros, you know? And let's go find some actually good food. I came inside of Disney Anna because I just needed some air conditioning while I tried to figure out what I'm gonna eat. I really don't know. And I also don't know what I'm in the mood for. But anyway, okay, there's a tiara here. <laughs> I was like, oh wow, look at this. Okay, so there's a Disney 100 tiara for $89. It's limited release. It also has pre-sale available. Ooh, I didn't mean to tap on the glass, but look at it, there it is. It is bejeweled, it is platinum, it's art deco. It's very Disney 100. <laughs> the band is playing outside, but I cannot be taken away from this air conditioning. It feels amazing. It feels so amazing. But also in case you're wondering, I'm sure most of you know what Disney Anna is, but it's where you can get art and collectibles and I love coming in here. Like, I could waste so much time in here. It's just, you see so many cool things. And also, look at this display for the merchandise. I love all the classic Disneyland stuff. Look over there, we have an attraction ticket. I mean, it's so cool, right? At Disney Anna, you also can get a custom character sketch. This is the price list right here. And they do draw it right here, look. We have some pencils. He's ready to return. It looks like the cast member's name is Eric. But yes, isn't that fun? Let me show you what it actually looks like. So you choose the character you want, but these are some examples. And then they can customize it. Like they'll write your name in it in like a very special decorative way. Oh my gosh, Jiminy Cricket. And they have an entire binder of like all the characters you can choose. Sorcerer Mickey. I love this. And I also love the music that's playing right now. This brings me joy. Oh, we have Steamboat Willie. Let's see, let's go to a random page. Who do you think it's gonna be? <gasps> it's my favorite, it's Donald. It was meant to be, look at how fun he is. Oh my God, I love that one. <laughs> they also had the Madame Leota outfit that Jamie Lee Curtis wore in the Haunted Mansion movie. It looks pretty cool. From the side, I thought it was a Queen Amidala outfit because it is very Queen Amidala, right? but I like it, it has a lot of beadwork. Oh, and then the best part is the crystal balls here, also. I still haven't seen the movie though, I haven't seen the Haunted Mansion movie, and I'm really looking forward to it, and I'm really, really looking, I love going to the movie, so I'm like looking forward to getting like a huge amount of popcorn, a giant popcorn, some candy, and a soda. That's like the only way that you can enjoy the movies. <laughs> This is the other reason I wanted to come into Disney Anna, actually. So this is the special magic key print. So this is free for magic key holders. You just have to present your magic key. And they have this at Disney Anna and Wonderground Gallery, which is in downtown Disney. I feel like there's one more location and I'm not remembering it right now. But either way, I think this print is so nice, don't you? Look, we have Mickey and Minnie. I know some people don't love their new animation styles, you know, the new character design, but I actually think it's pretty cute. And then the castle, look, Tinkerbell's up there too. As is Chubby, Chubby. And then we have the Disney 100 castle. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln. Nothing beats the Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln. Wait, oh, I have to stop this and show this. Look, it's the Alice in Wonderland poster. It looks fantastic. Anyway, I'm going the back way because the parade is happening right now. But yes, nothing beats great moments with Mr. Lincoln air conditioning. It is refreshing. It is icy cold. And you don't actually have to go inside like the attraction. You can just go all the way to the back where they have like the model of the Capitol and you will feel so nice, so cold. <laughs> I love this poster. I also just like love going the back way. You know what I mean? Look, Matterhorn. We love the Matterhorn. <laughs> Star Tours. I'm just gonna like call out all of the, look, 
great moments with Mr. Lincoln. We are grateful for you. By the way, if you go inside the attraction, it's actually not as cold as just hanging around that Capitol building model. Oh my gosh, it's Winnie the Pooh. Look, there's a little bluster going on. Actually, it's kind of a blustery day today. Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh. I came over to Rancho del Zocalo to get food and I officially have food, I'm very excited, but I also have a drink. So I got this and I just saw it and I was like, okay, we need to get this too. So this is, oh, I don't want it, I don't want it to drip, but this is a straw, oh no, I, it did drip. <laughs> okay, so this is strawberry horchata cold brew. Yes, so this is cold brew up here. This is strawberry horchata and then they do put a little bit of cream and some cinnamon on the top, but you know what? It kind of like congealed a little bit in some of these areas, so it doesn't look the best. But if you squint your eyes, it kind of looks like a Neapolitan shake, maybe? Maybe. But anyway, let's try this one first. Okay, so we're gonna try this. I'm a little bit, I'm questioning it because cold brew, strawberry, horchata, I don't know. And also, should I stir it? I don't know. I really don't know. So I'm gonna take a sip from down here first because I just wanna try the strawberry horchata before I potentially ruin it. Ooh, really nice. It tastes like, it tastes like strawberry, like Nesquik. You know what I mean? Like really, it's definitely an artificial type of strawberry flavor. But I feel like there's, yeah, see, there's like some pulpiness. Like you can tell that they did put real strawberries in there, but it does have like a little bit of an artificial taste. I actually really enjoy that, but I think now we have to, we have to like stir it up, right? I think it's gonna ruin it, but I feel like we have to. You're supposed to, right? Who knows? I don't know. We're gonna see. Okay. It's fine, but I don't think they really go together. Actually, okay, I I do enjoy it just because I think the strawberry taste is really nice, but the coffee flavor, it definitely has like kind of like an earthy acidic flavor that doesn't really doesn't really mesh right, but as you can tell, I keep taking sips from it because I really like the strawberry part. So would I recommend this? Maybe not, but you can get just the strawberry horchata and that I recommend. And now for food. So these are the green chili cheese nachos and you can get them with either beef, chicken, or cauliflower. I got chicken and then it has tortilla chips, green chili cheese sauce, refried brains, guacamole, sour cream, and pico de gallo. It is so warm today. Ooh, but there's a breeze. Yes, I had, to, I had to put my fan down for a second because I was like, is that my fan or the breeze? No, it is, there's a slight bluster, but I have this little guy and I love him. I use him all the time. I want to bejewel this fan, but I also, I feel like because I tossed in my backpack, I would lose crystals. But anyway, okay, nachos. Let me put that back in my backpack. I made myself the perfect chip. And before I taste this, I do have to say, I love nachos, okay? Like, it is, nachos are one of my favorite things to eat ever. I love them. So, even bad nachos to me are good nachos. So, you know, the bar is going to be very low for these to be good. But let's try them. Yes, I have everything I want in one bite. I love those. Wait a minute, I love those. And it's, part of it is that I just love nachos. So, like... That's, the love of nachos is partially talking here, but they're also really good. The chips, they're not too thick, but they have like a nice crispiness, although they do have a little bit of that Frito flavor that some tortilla chips have. But the cheese sauce is really nice. You can really taste the green chilies, and I like that it's a cheese sauce rather than just melted cheese in this case. Sometimes I'm, I'm a little bit lowbrow. I do like a cheese sauce, you know, like a nacho cheese sauce. This one is nice, and then the beans are good. I like the jalapenos because they're a little bit, a little bit spicy, but you can get hot sauce here and add it on top, which I did. And then the sour cream. I mean, I also love sour cream, okay? I love sour cream, I love guacamole, but I love sour cream the most. So this, to me, these are amazing. I thought it was important just to give you a few final thoughts. Yes, it's kind of gross. I'm showing you my almost finished food. And trust me, I'm going to keep eating this. Can you tell that I love these nachos? <laughs> that cheese sauce was really good. And there's like a couple chips in there that are really nice and soggy looking, covered in the sauce. And also one that's covered in sour cream. So I'm going to be definitely eating those. They're going to be very good. And then shockingly, the strawberry or chata cold brew got better. It got better as I kept drinking it. The coffee flavor kind of dissipated and you're just left with the nice strawberry 
horchata flavor and it was creamy and it kind of got this nice like milky strawberry ice cream type of flavor. So I would definitely get the strawberry horchata, but if you're brave, you can add the cold brew into it, but I recommend it. Why not? Can we cue the Imperial March right now? Yes, it's very important. We need to hear this song because we have Darth Vader ears. <laughs> So I saw these on the Shop Disney website and I was like, I need to see these in real life. I'm a big Star Wars fan, so I had a feeling I would like these. They're $35, by the way. And the thing that I'm questioning, it has like a cape, right? But it's made out of like chiffon and it just is giving me like, you know, bride vibes, dark bride vibes. I think I would cut it off. And it looks like I would be able to do that pretty pretty nicely with a clean cut but anyway i like the bow it is faux leather it has some debossed grid pattern in it and then it has his little life systems computer as an enamel pin in the middle which i think is pretty cool and then it has striping on the actual ears and red piping around but yes i don't know this this veil thing kind of weird you know what we got to do we got to try these on this is very important i must inspect what is what does this look like? And by the way, my quiet corner at World of Disney, I am mourning the loss of it because it is a quiet corner no more. It used to be really old merchandise and nobody came around here, but now it's Haunted Mansion merchandise. So like people do, so we're gonna do this fast. Anyway, see, no time to even inspect what the hat hair looks like. Nobody cares. Nobody's looking, right? Don't look. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, the ears themselves, pretty cute. Now for the, the veil, the cape, I don't know. I don't know about it. It's it's really giving Bride of Frankenstein, perhaps. You know, Dark Bride vibes. I don't know. I'm not. I'm gonna try and cut it off. But anyway, yes. I know this is not gonna be everybody's cup of tea. Like there aren't gonna be like tons of people trying to get these, but I like them. <laughs> Oh boy, I just hoofed it so intensely over here to New Orleans Square and um, we are looking for the Hatbox Ghost Zipper because I forgot that that came out and I really want to see it. I might want to get it, but I, I mainly just want to show you and I'm just like wondering in my head, I'm like, oh, it's kind of late. It's kind of late in the day and these things sell out, so we'll just see. Oh, also, look, I stood right here on purpose because the churro, cherub, he's back there somewhere, I think, right? Yeah, there he is. Look at what I have. Oh my gosh. Okay, he looks amazing, don't you think? So this is the Hatbox Ghost Sipper, and you can see that's where the little straw is, but you know, friends do not let friends put beverages inside of them, you know? It's weird, but I think he looks amazing and he would be so cool as a decoration. I'm really debating on getting him or not. Oh, and by the way, some very kind people are letting me film this right now. So yay, look at him and you can see his little hat box head right there. And then he does have a light switch and there's different modes I'm pretty sure. And one of them is that he, just like in the ride, the light will go from one head to the other Amazing. We love him so much. And then the strap. Lastly, I'll show you the strap. Oh, I think it's kind of hard to see. You can kind of see it right there. You can also see there's spooky eyes. We love this. But yes, I'm very much so debating if I should get it or not. I'm just not really a sipper person. I'm really debating. I'm like, do I want that little Hatbox Go sipper? Mainly just because I think he will make an amazing Halloween decoration, like on a mantle. And I just, I think he's pretty cool. But... I also know that in my heart of hearts, I, well, first off, I only own one sipper. I am not a sipper person. And the one sipper I do own is Candy Corn Donald. And I love him. I love him with all my heart. And he is the only sipper in my heart. So I don't know. Am I ready for two? Two sippers? Two whole sippers? I don't think I am, but maybe I am. <laughs> but yes, I see the line is getting longer and longer. So I know that word probably got out that they restocked the sipper. And in case you're wondering, I do know that they have it at Harbor Galley, but they also have it in Critter Country and some of the stands like around New Orleans Square. And you're able to mobile order it from, you know, Harbor Galley, but I don't know how long he's going to last. I really don't. So by the time I, you know, upload this video, it will be not accurate information. <laughs> but yes, if you want him, then I'm wishing you all the luck. I'm sending you all the good luck through the screen that you can get him. Wonderful seeing me as always, isn't it? 
I'm in front of the castle right now, and this is one of my favorite places to just observe duck activity. See, we have some duck activity right there. There's two right over there. One of them is like teenager aged. And then there's been one little baby duckling. Just kind of, oh look, I think it's right there. That little baby duckling has just been like going around trying really, really hard to swim against the current of the fountain because you know, the fountain has a tremendous amount of current for it. I've lost it, no, it's right there again. It is very, very cute, very small, very fluffy. <laughs> we are on duck patrol. Is that what we would call it? Like when we're on the lookout, duck lookout? I don't know. Oh, what is he, is he gonna peek through? Is he trying to get a little snack, a little taste of something? Looks like it. Even more duck patrol. I feel like that's kind of like ducktails, like, but it's too many syllables, right? We can't sing the song. We can't sing the ducktail song with duck patrol. That I mean, name might just need to be workshopped a little bit, but look at them. And they look a little bit weird with this like super dyed blue water, but yay, duck patrol. Woo. <laughs> I didn't go in front of the castle for just duck patrol, although that was kind of like a big point of it. But yes, I have a churro now. So this is a summer churro. This is the pineapple churro. It's a churro with pineapple flavored sugar. And then there's also a dipping sauce for an additional $1.50. This is sweet pineapple dipping sauce, pineapple flavored cream cheese. It doesn't say cream cheese frosting, it just says cream cheese. <laughs> and then it comes with wafer crumbles and it's topped with a little cherry. How very cute. They're finishing one of the shows at the Royal Theater right now, so we get to enjoy that. They were just paying, they were just paying, they were just playing a little bit of Beauty and the Beast. But then also, well, first off, I'm like standing, so I don't, I couldn't even find a place to sit, but I found this nice little nook that's usually where they meet and greet with characters. But then we get a view of the castle on this side, which is nice. This is kind of a cute background, right? I mean, I love anything about Fantasyland also. Oh, they're at the part where Gaston is saying, why would anyone love a beast, you know? Because he's mean. I mean, well, Gaston is mean. He's a mean person, but yes, okay. Churro, let's try this. That dipping sauce is very sweet. Very, very sweet. Like, really sweet, actually. And it has a lot of pineapple flavor, but you can definitely taste the cream cheese. Like, it has a little bit of that that kind of like sour cream cheese taste, you know? Like some people don't like cream cheese frosting and I feel like it's because of the sourness. I personally love it, but I can taste it more in some frostings than other and this one kind of has it, but also really nice sweet pineapple flavor and the churro itself, okay, listen, it's like, it's in kind of a sad state right now. It's been perhaps gripped a little bit too hard and oh no, and it's falling and it's, and I'm really warm right now, like I am, truly glistening right now and so i'm like grasping onto this like oh god it's so hot but i would say the let me try it on its own actually it actually does have a pineapple flavor and if you wanted to get the churro on its own without the cream cheese frosting i think this would be pretty good on its own just a little hint of pineapple and then if you really like sweet get the frosting because i think this really takes it up a notch but it is very very sweet oh no look i'm like death gripping this churro i'm sorry churro <laughs> I was just walking out of Disneyland and this caught my eye. I was like, wait a minute, what? So this is a Disney showcase and I don't think I've seen this at any of the other shops yet, but this is supposed to be coming out on Monday, which is when this video will also be coming out. But here we have the Disney Parks Halloween lounge fly that matches these ears. And it has this like holographic polyurethane. Oh, you can hear, oh, okay, you can hear. Everyone is cheering because the parade is about to start. But anyway, yes. This is such a pretty bag. It has really nice sequins. I love the bow and I love the ear bags. I know not everybody loves the Disney like ear bags, but I love them. And I like that they match. I think this is so fun. The only thing, okay, first off it's $88, but let me also show you what the inside looks like. <laughs> this is what the interior looks like. And it's so pretty. It's orange. It matches the lining right there, like this orange lining and then it has black minis with little yellow bows the only thing is, is that i am trying to fold that over so carefully because this material this like holographic material is so delicate like anything will scratch it so you always have to be very careful with it oh and then it has yellow webbing for the straps but this is so pretty so cute i kind of love it 
And yes, it matches the ears, which makes me very happy. It's crow clock right now, sorry. I was taken aback by the, they're right next to me. But anyway, that is gonna do it for this video. And first off, I cannot believe, I'm so distracted. Stop it, guys, stop it. But anyway, yes, I am very, I, what was I saying? Oh, that, okay, first off, I'm so surprised. The first piece of, well, okay, we've already had Halloween merch, and now this is like even more Halloween merch. And this week, I think we are getting like a lot of Halloween merchandise. Like either Monday or Tuesday, I think like a lot of it is coming in. It's gonna be exciting. I, I kind of grimaced then, but I was actually excited. Anyway, yes, I had a very good day today, and what did we do? I mean, first off, I really, I, by the way, I did not get the Darth Vader ears. I'm like undecided, I, I still don't know, but yes, I didn't get those ears, but I enjoyed all of the food that we got. Well, okay, minus those churro lollipops, okay? But we were, at the end, everything turned out okay because that pineapple churro was fantastic, and I love the food from Rancho de Zocalo. I mean, I love a good nacho, and that was a good nacho. That was very enjoyable, and what else? Oh, okay, the, the horchata kolbu. Oh, and also, I am all over the place right now. I, okay, I didn't film this because I got really tired. The heat like sucked the life out of me. I went over to Docking Bay 7 and I got the Cocoa Puff cold brew. But what I originally wanted was the Taro cold brew and it's not on the menu anymore. And I am devastated. Like that was one of my favorite coffee drinks. But I still ended up getting the, the Cocoa Puff one, you know, the half-calf cold brew. That one was great. But anyway, yes, a very fun day, a very enjoyable day, a very nacho type of day. I love those nachos. <laughs> But yes, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one, which might be a Halloween video because I think the Halloween merch, if it's out, I will come back. I will come back and I will cover all of it. But anyway, that is it for today. So I will catch you guys in the next one. <laughs> okay, see ya.